Hi everyone and welcome to this snack size episode in understanding widgets. Uh, in this episode we're going to talk about the hierarchy, what it is, how we use it and what are the features that we can do inside of it. So the hierarchy is this tab here that we see on the left hand side by default. And the hierarchy is a way of ordering and structuring our widget and understanding how it interacts with its various different components. Whenever you start a new widget, you get one item in your hierarchy, and that's the canvas panel. More on that in another video, um, but we'll leave that there for now. Now, in the hierarchy, we want to drag items into it to organize it. So, for example, I can drag a button into my canvas panel to see it appear in the viewport. And inside your hierarchy, you can click on each item and you can rename them. So right click, rename, or you can go to the right hand side details panel and rename it there. So this is called my button. You'll notice it's changed its name over here on the left hand side. If you want to, you can also lock items. So I can lock this button so I can't interact with it. I can also hide it so I can't move, uh, can't see it um, at various points whilst I'm working. So if you're working on a lot of stuff here, you can hide elements uh, whilst uh, developing your hierarchy. It's important to note if you hide it here, it's only visibility affected in the editor. So in game that would still be visible because our details panel are set to visible. This is only whilst we're editing it. You can also right click on uh, individual elements and you'll see two options at the bottom saying wrap with or replace with. With replace with you're able to replace it with another widget. So for example, I can replace this button here with an overlay. And now it's a overlay called my button. I can also wrap it. So if I've made a mistake, say for example, I put a checkbox in there and I realize I don't want that to be an overlay. I want to put that in, whole overlay inside of a border. I can right click on that, wrap with and do border. And that will put it inside a border panel for me. We can expand and hide items with the arrows and you can drag and drop items to rearrange them. So if I was to replace this with a vertical box and drag another button in to my vertical box, I can drag and drop the order, the order sorry, that each of these buttons appears in. Once you've made one item, we may want to duplicate it. We can also do control W it's a shortcut to duplicate items. When building your widgets, I strongly recommend instead of building from here to here, instead you build from the palette into your hierarchy. That way you can control exactly what goes where. Whereas if you drag it onto the field into the viewport, you never know exactly where it's going to end up. But in a hierarchy, you can guarantee you understand where it goes. And that's kind of it for hierarchy. You still have search availability here. So if, you want, if you've got a large hierarchy, you can search for various items. But that's kind of the gist of it. Thank you very much for watching this very quick snack size explanation of the hierarchy uh, tab inside your widget editor. Join us for more snack size videos about the widgets over on Patreon and on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady, where you can watch videos like this before anyone else, uh, as well as many other benefits too. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.